Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Iwasu Itori and welcome to my YouTube channel, Teach Yourself Test Automation. Remember, in this channel, we are upskilling ourselves, right? From manual test, manual tester to um, test automation engineer, right? And um, that is the goal and that is the drive, right? And who knows, you know, take that up to being a consultant or a test a automation test architect right and that's only about um, moving yourself uh, uh, to another level right through self-directed education right so that's what we do in this channel that's what i'm doing for myself i mean it doesn't have to be in the test realm right it doesn't have to be in the testing domain right it could be it could be uh, uh, you could be doing any, doing anything but you should have the mindset of continuous learning Right, continuous learning and this should be in the form of self-education self-directed education okay i'm an advocate for that i empower myself and through empowering myself i try to to share out there and make sure people empower themselves as well right so <laughs> that that aside going forward we have we have been teaching ourselves a serenity bdd right with a um, g unit selenium and uh, eventually with cucumber okay so selenium bdd framework right that's what we've been getting to teaching ourselves right so we're still learning right and uh, sorry about this it's been a while <laughs> since um, a, a video right so between my nine to my nine to five because i still i still keep a day job and between my between that and my children it's not it's not an excuse because there has to be consistency and a uh, discipline right right now uh, time is being going going elsewhere, right? I need to I need to change that myself. But anyway, back to our our learning serenity BDD framework, right? So today we want to talk about page object model, right? We have spoken about page object class before. Today we want to talk about page object model, right? So this is the the um, and we want to do this using serenity um, serenity, right? So page object model within serenity, right? So this is the application, right? This is the application we want to uh, uh, um, utilize page uh, page object model uh, uh, framework to to actually uh, automate, right? So to interact with, right? So it is a, a Q, QA uni, uh, dot com website, um, and when a user lands on this website, there's there's various op um, user interactions a user can have with this website right first of all if you land here you want to probably check that you're on the right website so you want to check the um if i move this i'm going to show you this right so that's what so you want to check that your actual uh, browser you know you've landed on the correct browser by uh, returning that um, the name of the browser up there right so the name of the page or whatever you want to call it and then also in here, the, what the user might want to do as well is probably fill in a, a username and a password and login, right? So I've got my username here and I've got my password and I, I click login, right? So that's what we want to automate using the page object model, right? And this is the dashboard, right? So the dashboard, also you might want to say, okay, let me verify if I'm, if I'm successfully logged in. So if you're successfully logged in, you want to verify the URL or you know verify something on this page to make sure that you are on the the login page or you are, you have indeed logged in so you might want to say check something on the url so maybe you have landed on the lectures page and uh, that's what we want to talk about so this this video is just about the theory part of the um, page object model in serenity right and uh, we will we will use some later on we will use some coding right i've been doing some reading around right which is what is taking time or so for me to understand the page object model aspect right so we, we have talked about page object class but that's different from the page object model right so we know a uh, page object model as um, is used for you know, making your, your uh, there's various uh, advantages for page object model, right? So it's making your tests um, readable, uh, um, uh, easily to maintain, uh, you know, duplication of code. Uh, so there are various advantages. So we are still learning, we're still reading about page object model, but I've come up with a diagram 
I've come up with this diagram, so I'm about to talk through you, you this, yeah, talk through this diagram on this video, which is the theory part of the page object model. And uh, caveats here is that we're still reading about this, right? So I'll just pause this for a bit. The, that uh, interlude, right? So we are back now. So I was talking about, uh, I've just come up with this diagram, right? So I was talking about a little bit of caveats on it, right? So um, I've read around, right? I've read the, uh, the guys who are actually uh, come up with a serenity framework right i've read their blogs and articles i've also done some um, youtube uh, videos and tried to understand page object model specifically to serenity right so i've come up with this diagram so we know we know the the um, the, the web page we, we want to model right so this is a web page we want to eventually model and uh, so we start by find out with what sort of interactions a user could have with the page right so when we go back to this uh, to our uh, diagram i've just come up with right so the components within your page object model right all of them are classes yeah they are class files right so your object page itself it's a page object in comp component itself is a, it's a class file your method uh, your step methods or your method class is a class file and your test class is also a class file right so i'll just go ahead and explain uh, the serenity page object model framework framework right so it's it's so with your page object itself right this page object you want this page object will capture the interaction that the user has with have with, has with the page right so we we know our page and we know what, what we want to do on our page so um our page object class which is different from the page object class that gives you methods to use this page object as page object that models right page object models your web page right so it models the interaction your user has with your web page right so in our our um, example for this website we want to identify the the the, the the browser title right so the page title and we want to uh, enter a user username and we want to enter the password and we want to click login and we want to verify that we successfully logged in right so what we have here are various steps right so the first step we want to model is to verify title the second step we want to model is to enter credentials so login credentials so we are on the uh, page object uh, component right and then the last we want to do is verify the dashboard that we are successfully logged in right so when it comes to serenity uh, page object model serenity framework page object model right there are two very important annotations right so there's a steps annotation right a steps annotation which will be on your page object class right and this steps annotation identifies the user interaction within the page object right so the, the page you are modeling the page object model your page you're modeling right so these steps are multiple steps right depending on how many pages you want to model right but we are modeling a single page here we are modeling a single login page right so our steps that we have identified are what the user wants to the, the, the interaction the user wants to carry out with our login page so that's to verify the title to enter a credentials and to verify the dashboard right so that forms your 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 page object model page right now your steps now you have to break down your steps now to individual step methods right individual step methods which is where your second annotation comes in the second annotation which is your step annotation so it breaks down your 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 user interactions into single steps right so this is your method class so we move on to the method class now where you have your step methods so for step one you want to again uh, break down the individual uh, uh, interaction of verify title the step two now is to uh, enter use the username and password sorry i i, I spell password wrong <laughs> and then step three now is to verify your login right so that's your method class and again now with your method class the 
the the better way is not to have your um your your locators is to keep your te your your test secret with your locator strategy right so this is your test your test methods right so you want to keep your your locating uh, the code you use to locate your classes you want to keep them separately you could use them here but that will become very cumbersome right so you could use them into your class into your method class uh, 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 but that will become cumbersome so you need to create another class file which will become your test class right and in here is where you want to capture your code that is going to implement each of your step methods right so your method class acts as an interface between your page object and your code right so there is various advantages for your page object model within serenity um, and uh, uh, we, we will come on to on to those and when we do our practice session right so this is my understanding around page object model class within a uh, page object model not page object uh, class page object model within the serenity framework right now we are going to put this into practice in the next video right so my name is kevin owasu itoy and hopefully i have put across um, an understanding what um, the page object model is all about within the serenity framework right so you have two important very important annotations uh, the steps and step annotation your steps annotation uh, is used on your the, more, the page you uh, you set up so your page your page object uh, class where you model what the user your user is going to do on that page and then your step uh, uh, annotations are used in your test method uh, class right so your method class file and um, that you are going to be writing your methods on right and now you have to break that down into every single uh, step that your user is carrying on on that page you're trying to model right and now you have to also split up your your method classes into the various uh, 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 lines of code you're going to write so the, the code you're going to write to for each uh, uh, to interact with every uh, element on that page to actually achieve your results and that you're going to keep those onto your class your, your test class right so that this is the better way to do this because it makes your code more manageable uh, it's more simple to, to to read and maintain and manage right so those are some of the, the advantages of the page object model within serenity framework right there's other there's others as well which we, we will get into we're just getting to to learn about this page object class within serenity right and this is only modeling one page right so you can model more than one page and you your your, your class your class uh, your test class um, you can have many tests that reference uh, same uh, method classes within methods within your class file and many more right so i'll try and capture this down in a blog as well and probably write on it as well right so but it will come more clearer i think trust me <laughs> when we actually do some practice on it right so and you could watch it over and over but and also you could watch this over and over if this gives you more understanding on on, on the, the page object model within serenity framework right so Hopefully I've done this justice and my name is Kevin Owasu Victoria and I will sign off for now. So, do, so remember if you found this um, uh, informative and uh, you've taken some value for it, don't forget to subscribe and follow, follow the channel, right? And um, yeah, just um, take yourself to another level. That's what we're trying to do here, right? We're trying to empower each other. I'm empowering myself and I'm trying to empower everyone around me. That's, that's my vision. That's my goal, okay? So my name is Kevin Owasu Victoria. I'm signing off for now, okay? Stay blessed. Bye.